<laughs> oh, what great work. You're gonna love this. Finished! What do you think? It's a paintbrush. And now what I need to do is wash the paint off of my feet just so you can watch Mr. Maker. No, oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, you caught me out. Here's Mr. Maker. Mr. Maker! Mr. Maker! Hello there, it's great to see you. I've got a bit of a problem. I can't decide. Spots? Ooh! Or stripes? Ooh, lovely, yeah! Or spots? Oh! I just can't make up my mind! Or... We could do both. That gives me an idea. A fantastic pattern picture made out of stripes and spots. Let's make it. The main things you need to make it are in the doodle drawers. You need three colours of paper. Black, white and red looks good. A cauliflower. No, that's for my tea later, actually. One of these clever things, a hole punch. Watch what happens. Paper, hole punch, punch, holes. It's clever, isn't it? And some glue. First, take some scissors and your black and white paper and cut both pieces into thin strips. Now, be careful because scissors are sharp. You can cut some strips fatter than others. You might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit. When you've cut out all of your strips, it's time for the fun bit. You'll find your hole punch easier to use if you place it on the table. Then carefully feed in a strip and start making some holes. Make holes all the way down your strip. And when you've done a black strip, do a white one. And keep going until you've got holes in all of your strips. Now we need red paper. Take a black strip, put some glue on it, and stick it down to the edge. Look, the red shows through the holes to make spots. Next, glue a white strip, and stick it down so that it overlaps. These make the stripes. And keep going black, then white, black, then white, until you've covered all of your red paper. Look, a superb stripey spotty hole punch pattern. And you can try any three colours you like. How about orange and yellow spots and stripes? Or any colour you like? Stripey, spotty, hole punch patterns. Why don't you try it and go stripey and spotty all over? <laughs> hey! I didn't mean me! Whew, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
is that snoring? These are the shapes. Ah, they're asleep. I've got an idea. Let's wake them up. <laughs> oh, they're heavy sleepers. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, take it away. are making a picture. What's it going to be? Can you guess? It's a rabbit! Well done, Square. Time to get back on the shelf. <laughs> ah, those shapes are fantastic! Tucky here! <laughs> oh. Minute make time! Minute make time! It's minute make time! Come on! Now, let's turn a pencil into a pencil pet! Look at him! To make a pencil pet, you will need some feathers. <coughs> Bless you. Also, you'll need a pencil, a pipe cleaner, some scissors, some glue and some yellow sponge. And also some googly eyes, which you can get from any arty and crafty shop. I'll be back in a tick. <coughs> There are my googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make a pencil pet in just a minute? <laughs> really? Let's find out. I think I'm going to have to move very, very quickly. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute! Right, get two feathers and hold them together at the top of the pencil, like that. And then wrap round your pipe cleaner. Here we go, round and round and round and round and round and round! There we go. Great. OK, now it's time for the eyes. Where are they? They're in my bag. I just got them from the shop. Put some glue on them and stick on the eyes. Hurry up! All right, there's one eye. There's two eyes. There we go. And now we need to get our scissors and very carefully cut out a small triangle of yellow sponge. Be very careful because scissors are sharp. Be careful! There we go. This is going to be our beak. So if I put some glue on it, I can stick it on our pencil pet. There we go. It's done! I've finished! Only just! Thanks, Toki. Oh, that was a bit close, though, wasn't it? But if you've got more than a minute, you could try other types of pencil pen. <laughs> Fantastic! Pencil pets made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. 
take your two feathers and put them at the top of your pencil. Then take the pipe cleaner and wrap it around the pencil and the feathers. Now it's time to glue on the googly eyes. Stick them onto the pipe cleaner and then cut out a triangular beak shape from the foam. Stick down your beak and your pencil pet is finished! <laughs> Why don't you try making it in a minute? Hello, Mr Baker. Guess what we're making today? I don't know. Hmm, let's find out. <laughs> Done, everybody. See you next time. But now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now have a look at this. They look great, don't they? And this is really easy to do. You can change photographs of yourself or someone else into a character, and it's so good that you will be able to frame it. You'll need some foil, some felt, some glue, two different colours of glitter, and you'll also need to get a photograph like this and decide what character you would like it to be. This handsome fellow should be a knight in shining armour. Every good knight needs a helmet and some armour, which you can make out of tin foil. Shape the foil to make it look like a helmet, and you can make the rest of your armour in the same way. This is a breastplate and some leg guards. And how about a sword and a shield? You can cut them out of felt. Then glue it all down. There, that's how to turn yourself into a knight in shining armour. Let's try something else. This is a picture of Melinda Maker, my little sister. Let's turn her into a princess. What does every good princess need? No, not glue. Let's add some glitter. You've guessed it. Yes, it's going to be a tiara. And how about a long flowing dress? Paint the dress using glue and sprinkle a different colour glitter all over the top. Then leave it to dry. When it's dry, shake off the glitter. There you go. Isn't she beautiful? Those good looks just run in the family. Turn a photo of yourself or someone else into a character. It's really fun and it looks brilliant. What a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it. Very impressive. Now take a look at this. I've got something to show you. This is my magic pencil and it can draw pictures all on its own. Don't believe me? Watch this. Can you guess what the magic pencil is drawing? What could it be? It 
It's a boy on a bike. Well done, Magic Pencil. Hmm, that's made me hungry. Mmm, oh, I love pasta. It's great fun to eat. And look, it's all different shapes and sizes. Hmm, and you can use it to make amazing things. This gives me an idea. A fantastic futuristic robot that's made using pasta. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the Doodle Drawers. <laughs> One big box about this size. <laughs> Two smaller thin boxes. <laughs> An even smaller box. <laughs> some white sticky PVA glue. Two small plastic bottles. A tambourine! No? Okay. Buttons and silver paint. And loads of pasta shapes! Now, to make your pasta robot, first get your biggest box and cover it in glue. Do one side at a time and then stick pasta shapes onto it, like this. Don't glue pasta to the bottom of the box, because that's where the legs are going. When it's dry, it goes hard, like this. Now we need to add our legs, using the two small plastic bottles. Let's dip them in the glue, like that. Put them in position. There and leave them to dry. Now position the rest of your robot's body using the two small thin boxes for arms and the other small box for his head. There. Now glue everything together. This can be a bit fiddly, so hold it together whilst it starts to dry. Now paint it all over with silver paint and leave it to dry again. You need a face and you can use all sorts of bits and pieces for this. I'm going to use some buttons for his eyes and his nose and a piece of pipe cleaner or wool for his mouth. Now let's stick them on to our robot's face. And when you're done, leave your robot to dry again. My very own pasta robot. Hello. Wow, why don't you make it? Time to go, time to go. Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas. You can meet all your CBeebies friends anytime you like on the CBeebies website. There are lots of colourful characters, things to do, exciting adventures, and it's filled with magic in every way.